Hey guys, JokeFit here with a um, figure pickups video. I just wanted to film this uh, segment a bit early in the week um, when I'm recording this. This is Halloween, so uh, I would say happy, happy Halloween, but by the time you're seeing this, Halloween will long have been gone. So, um, yeah, I got this figure in the mail or uh, by UPS today, and I really want to show him off in packaging before I uh, unbox him because I really want to take this figure out of packaging and so that figure is none other um, but the future of law enforcement himself Robocop yes NECA Robocop with spring loaded holster so this is the new one that came out just a month or so ago really excited to get this uh, figure um, I'm a huge fan of NECA's figures especially um, their movie figures I have let me see if I can just get him down here also I have several of their Predator uh, figures, including um, the classic Predator, which is another awesome figure. Um, I am a huge, huge fan of the original RoboCop movie. I have not seen the sequels, and I'm kind of afraid to because I heard they kind of suck. But um, I really do love the original first RoboCop movie, and I just wanted to show you guys this figure in packaging because it just looks so really good it just looks really awesome in packaging as you can see the nice robocop logo up there there's the figure himself which i will give you guys in-depth look um after or after this segment so i will give you guys an in-depth look at the robocop figure himself uh in just a few moments um there's like his visor head area which is a little uh looks a little bit short but you know it's just packaging um, it says features, spring loaded holster there, a sticker, see right there, spring loaded holster, and um, and um, the background behind the figure, if you can make it out, that's like uh, Robocop's chest plate, so really cool. Um, turn back, on the back of the packaging, there's um, the, I guess a uh, slogan, motto, catchphrase, whatever, for the original movie, part man, part machine, all cop, the future of law enforcement. And there's, uh, let's see, uh, 25 years, uh, 25th anniversary of the original RoboCop movie. And there's, like, the back of uh, RoboCop. And, uh, of course, it says OCP Police 001. Um, very iconic. And then a little bit of instructions on how to operate the spring-loaded holster. And, yeah, really, the, so far, this figure looks really good. I am very excited to get him open. As um, I will do shortly, and then I will be having filmed that. Uh, it's kind of like explaining time travel in the movie. It gets confusing. But, um, yeah, so I will give you guys my thoughts after I open him up. And yeah, it just looks awesome. So, yeah, just one final look at the packaging. Very cool packaging. NECA always does a great job on their packaging. And spinning it around, there's a side profile on the back, a little bit plain, but that's okay. Another side, the other side, and then the front again. So really cool looking packaging, and I am very excited to open him up. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at what he looks like out of packaging. And here we are with RoboCop out of packaging. Um, it's kind of funny that. Uh, for you guys, it's just been a split second transition, but for me, this has been like a few days since I recorded the last bit. So anyway, one heck of a fantastic figure, I must say. NECA has struck gold once more with RoboCop. This is just an outstanding figure, I really must say. Um, and if you guys have don't um, own any NECA figures yourselves, I definitely recommend checking them out. Some real high quality uh, figures. Um, they, they're around the 6 to 7 inch scale, most of their figures. And um, the price point is $20, which is the same as buying a new Marvel Legends. So nothing big except for the sculpting and paint work on these guys. is just absolutely fantastic. I'll give you guys another look at Robocop here. I know my camera is probably not doing them justice. Um, you can find many um, really good reviews of this guy on YouTube. Um, he's been out for a bit. Now about a month and a half, I think. But I just haven't picked him up till now. So really, really awesome. And of course, the special spring-loaded feature advertised on the box. I can do it. There we go. Let's see. Whoop. 
right there. There's the spring-loaded holster, which his gun does in fact fit in. I'm not going to do it on camera because that would just take too long. You have to kind of uh, mess with it for a little bit and to get uh, stick in there. But anyway, very very good figure, really exceptional and um, especially this is definitely most my if you're a big Robocop fan like I am or if you just like uh, uh, high quality action figures in general just really really awesome figure again repeating myself um, as far as the list of features uh, we already mentioned the spring loaded holster he comes um, is set with accessories uh, he comes with of course the auto 9 handgun from the movie and if I can pop this off, there we go. Um, his hands are interchangeable, so he has this uh, like a trigger hand, you know, for holding the gun. And he also comes with the data spike of death, as I like to call it, from uh, the end of the movie where he stabs uh, the bad guy in the throat with it. So, um, nice of NECA to include the, the accessories. They obviously did not have to. I would have been perfectly happy with just, you know, the firing hand. But, really cool of them to uh, include this uh, data spike hand as well. So you can see. There we go. Focus. Alright. So that's pretty cool. And, um, so that's as f it as far as accessories go. Um, give you guys a look at the head sculpt if I can. I know the lighting is not the best, but we'll just have to make do. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but they did a really excellent job around Robocop's mouth area. Peter Weller, the actor who played Robocop in the movies, um, he has a very defined kind of, you know, mouth region. I guess that might have been a reason they hired him for the movies because of that. But a, they, NECA did a really good job with, um, what they could. Um, in case you didn't know, NECA does not have the rights to use Peter Weller's likeness in their Robocop action figures. So, um, uh, we, we won't be seeing an unmasked Robocop anytime soon, but they can, to, they can kind of, uh, cheap out with, you know, since Robocop's head is mostly covered, obviously. So, very cool, and some extra details on this guy. Again, you're probably not going to be able to make it out, but on the side of his helmet it says, um... OCP001 um, uh, so very cool and it says that again on this leg uh, region right there the hip again you probably can't make it out so I'm just wasting my time but very very cool figure I must say so yeah that, that does it for Robocop um, again NECA makes some excellent excellent figures I recommend you go check um, out their stuff. Uh, their official website is NECAonline.com. There you can browse their catalog. Um, you can't buy directly from there, but you can find it on like Amazon.com and your local like comic book shops and stuff of that nature. So, yeah, definitely go check NECA's figures out. Um, and uh, throw in a little bit of Star Wars for you guys. I did get a Star Wars purchase, but not a figure. Um, this week, this is a book, but a very, very groovy book that I think is a must-have for um, Star Wars fans, and that is the Illustrated Star Wars Universe. So the main reason I want to buy this is because it um, features uh, most of, if not all, of the uh, artwork of Ralph McQuarrie for um, the original Star Wars trilogy. So just kind of flip through the book, I guess, as best as I can. There's a little first page as we can flip through. Let's see. Tap down the camera. There's Cloud City. I know. I'm, I'm fumbling around. Just kind of flip through the pages. There's the Crap Dragon. Um, Jawas. Sand People. So, and there's bunches and bunches and bunches of artwork in this. So, really groovy stuff. Um, there's Echo Base. So, um, uh, as far as, like, the text and stuff, it's, like, kind of written, like, an in-universe travel guide, if that makes any sense. Like, you'll have, like, um, like, uh, oh, uh, somebody who works for, like, the Emperor's Department of Propaganda and stuff like that, and he'll do a chapter, and then there'll be, like, a disgruntled rebel trooper 
on a hoth, and he'll be doing the hoth chapter. And so they go through the major locations from the movies, um, Endor, Bespin, um, Hoth, obviously, Coruscant, and uh, Yavin. So, really cool stuff, um, very cool artwork, and just know something, this one uh, panel right there, if you can see, um, some artwork that was not used for the Empire Strikes Back, but did find its way into um, the Rogue Squadron video games, if you're, if you're um, familiar with those games. So, very groovy book. Um, I recommend you go check it out. I got because it was on a uh, sale on Amazon.com. I think it was like 12 to $16, somewhere around that. Can't remember exactly. So, um, yeah, go check it out. The Illustrated Star Wars Universe. And um, I'd just like to say that I'm sorry, guys, for the lack of activity this weekend. I know it's been kind of several weekends in a row where I haven't been doing as many videos as I have in the past. You know, it's just been really busy at school and stuff. And this weekend, um, I've been pretty much marathoning this game, which is Assassin's Creed 3, an excellent, excellent game. Um, I will definitely try and do a review of this guy when I beat him. But, you know, it's probably going to be a bit because there's a lot of stuff to do in this game. And I'm not even, like, 50% done with it. So, really awesome game. I recommend you go uh, pick it up. And if you buy it on PlayStation 3, you get four exclusive single-player missions. So, you know, just keep that in mind if you have uh, both Xbox and PlayStation. So, really a groovy game. And that's pretty much why I've been doing this whole weekend. Um, so, yeah. Um... As far as what videos are planned for the future, mm, I don't know. You know, just, uh, you, you know the drill by now. It's just, you know, whatever um, ideas pop in my mind, uh, whatever I feel like doing at the moment, and all that jazz. So, uh, yeah, you know, thank you guys for watching as always. This is Joker Fit, signing out. Bye.